Second leg of the Eastern Conference semifinal between the Red Bulls and Montreal coming up a bit later on today at Red Bull Arena. Alongside Eric Giacometti, our Red Bull insider, I'm Matt Harmon from Red Bulls Radio. Eric, let's recap real quick. one nothing. Montreal got that win last Sunday north of the border. Hard physical game, kind of what you would expect in the playoffs. Yeah, that winning streak or the unbeaten streak is now over us since back to July 3rd, but a 1-0 result for Montreal, and I think this one came down to a, a battle of, of tactics, and this one Montreal got the better of New York. Obviously, the Red Bulls like their high-press style, but a uh, counterattacking unit that likes to absorb pressure, make things ugly, and that's exactly what the impact did. They were able to shut down Bradley Wright Phillips and Sasha Kluschen, and they were clinical with their chances on the counter. Matteo Mancuso hitting one of the goals of the year, I think, and getting the 1-0 result. When you think of it, the one thing that New York can certainly uh, think about going into this matchup is they have been so good at home all during the course of the regular season. Yes, hitting a franchise record for wins at Red Bull Arena this year, so obviously that's something they can take solace in. Uh, they're a much better team at home, but now they have their work cut out for them. They're going to have the full 90 minutes to go after it and get those two goals, but they have to be careful of not exposing themselves to that counterattacking unit of Montreal because any away goals will become a bigger deficit for this Red Bulls team. As we roll into this uh, Sunday showdown at Red Bull Arena, let's hear from Jesse Marsh and some of the Red Bull players. When we went to their place, we dealt with most of the game in a really good way. And one play, maybe a play at the end of the second half gets away from us. But for the most part, our back four was really good. And uh, and we were a little unlucky not to put away a, a, one of our chances. So uh, we know at Red Bull Arena that the game will be heavily in our favor. And now it's just about managing certain moments to make sure that we don't dig ourselves a bigger hole and that we only challenge them to deal with all the things that we'll throw at them. When we look at the first leg and being down 1-0, Coming back to Red Bull Arena, it's not the worst position to be in. Sure, we would have wanted to get a result, but when you look at some of the other fixtures or the other other legs, uh, we're, we're in a good spot. So we know there's still a lot of work to be done, and we know that Montreal is going to give us a very difficult game. You know, there's, there's a lot worse positions that we could be in. And right now we know that they're going to probably bunker in, but nonetheless, if we can play our game and break them down, we're going to score some goals. I just think, you know, we have the the right guys, the right group, on the right moment to, for us to come home and, and get a result. And this would, would be great for us, for our fans, for, for our team. And we ready, we fully believe that on Sunday we're going to get a result and we're going to go to the finals and we're going to go to the MLS Cup. Eric, the one thing that Montreal knows, it's a very familiar spot. They've already been the Red Bull Arena twice so far this year. New York, however, coming away with two victories. Yeah, let's not forget the Montreal Olympic have never won at Red Bull Arena, so this is a place that they've definitely had their struggles. But as we mentioned, the Red Bulls are going to have to put the onus on them to go out and be the attacking side. If they can get Bradley Wright Phillips going, obviously Sasha Kluschen needs to be the focal point again. If they can get him on the ball and distributing like he always does, I think the Red Bulls have a great chance of scoring in bunches like we've seen at Red Bull Arena so often. We've got countdown to kick off. That will start at 3.30 p.m on our TuneIn Radio channel and by clicking to NewYorkRedBulls.com. Sirius XM FC Channel 85 will grab our broadcast at 4 p.m. Kickoff set for 4.23. Hope to see you later on at Red Bull Arena. Big one between the Red Bulls and the Impact.